To start this online training on how rape culture is perpetuated in our justice system, I will be approaching the feminist aspect of the problem. So in this video, I will be defining the terms of sexual harassment and sexual assault as a reference for the rest of the training. So what is the difference between sexual harassment and sexual assault? First of all, we have to understand the concept of consent before anything else. Consent is when a person is actively agreeing without hesitation before engaging in a situation. Therefore, if someone is not in full possession of their faculties um, to say yes before and during an activity, they are not consenting and it should be considered as an assault. In other words, when a person is sleeping or is unconscious or is being forced to agree, they cannot give their consent. This definition also means that someone under the influence of alcohol or any other substance is not in a position of saying yes because they are not in full possession of their faculties. It's also very important to know that someone can change their mind at any point during a sexual activity, meaning that giving their consent before does not mean that they will be agreeing about everything, just like agreeing one time doesn't mean yes for every other time in the future. So sexual harassment and sexual assault are both very serious offenses, but one is considered more severe than the other by the law. The difference between those two offenses is that sexual assault requires physical touch. It can be kissing someone without asking them first, touching someone's genitals, or having intercourse without someone's consent. Because sexual harassment does not necessarily require physical touch, it's often disregarded and perceived as a form of attention, even as a form of compliment. This kind of offense is more talked about in the workplace because of the power dynamic between employers and employees. According to a 2014 poll by Canadian Women's Foundation, 43% of women have been sexually harassed in their workplace. The sexual harassment is way more common than we think, and it includes any unwelcome sexual advance. Um, sending unsolicited pictures, making comments or jokes on a person's body or on their sex life, um, being intrusive of someone's personal space, which can be physically or by sending messages repeatedly, are all forms of harassment. So, to avoid making a person uncomfortable, this is why it is crucial to ask politely for their consent before making any move on someone. If this is not the case, it should be considered as a sexual offense. In the following videos, we will concentrate more on sexual violence as a women's issue, since 90% of victims of all ages are women and 82% of victims under the age of 18 are girls. It does not mean at all that men can't experience some sort of assault, harassment or even be victim of rape, but the rape culture in which we live in put women in a position of inferiority so they are more likely to experience any sort of sexual violence.